Hi, I'm Mary Ann Williamson, and I'm running for Congress. I'm running for the U.S. House of Representatives, California District 33. I feel like a government of the people, by the people, and for the people has become a government of a few of the people, and by a few of the people, and for a few of the people. And I, I think that if we are going to change the basic social contract between the American people and our government, we need to have a very passionate conversation about it. Moneyed interests wield an influence over the functioning of our government that is so disproportionate to that which is wielded by the average citizen as to represent a kind of aristocratic system. Major resources of our country have been siphoned off through banking policies, through trade policies, through tax policies, decade after decade after decade, until these major material and immaterial resources are held basically in the hands of a very few. We need a serious pattern interruption. There's an issue that's underlying all these other issues, and that is the issue of money in politics. That's why getting the money out of politics is the greatest moral challenge of our generation. It's not like we've never had serious problems in this country before. Remember, this country was founded by people who on one hand encoded into our founding documents some of the most extraordinarily enlightened principles of life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, equality of rights, equality of opportunity. But let's not forget that many of the men who encoded these principles into those documents were themselves slave owners. But a generation arose and we abolished slavery. Women didn't even have the right to vote. But a generation arose, and with the suffragette movement, we passed the 19th Amendment, and women got the right to vote. There was segregation, legalized segregation, in the American South, but a generation arose. And with the Civil Rights Movement, paved the way for civil rights legislation. It's time for a generation to rise up, as others have done before us, and do what it takes to protect and foster our democracy, to speak our word, to take our stand, to run candidacies, to win elections that actually create political heft around this new pro-democracy sentiment in the United States. And if I have the privilege of becoming your congressperson, this is what I will do. I will go to Washington and I will do everything in my power to magnify the voice now in Congress as well as that outside Congress the voice, the movement that has to do with preparing a constitutional amendment that would be sent to the states for ratification, outlawing the undue influence of money on our politics, establishing that corporations do not have the rights of personhood. And if you agree, as I do, that it is time for this now, in this moment, I hope that you will do all that you can to support my campaign. And if you do, and with your help, I promise you, I will slam it. I will. And I thank you for your support. Mm -hmm.